To that big story here at home now and some startling insight into the minds of suspects arrested last weekend on terrorism-related charges in southern Ontario. It comes from a man who says he had close-up knowledge of four of the suspects, a Muslim teacher. He says he watched as the young men became increasingly radical in their beliefs, and he says they're not unique. His name is Saeed Ahmed Amiruddin, and he had a close-up view. They gave off this thug and bad boy type of look, and these were really Islamic bad boys. Amiruddin says mainstream Muslim organizations in Canada are part of the problem, standing by as extremist propaganda spreads in the mosques. And Amiruddin says free Korans laced with jihadist commentary have been flooding into Canada from Saudi Arabia. In the back of these Korans that are being published in Saudi Arabia, you have basically essays on the need for, for offensive jihad and the legitimacy of offensive jihad and things like that, very alarming stuff. cites the Al-Rahman Center in Mississauga where several of the suspects prayed. He says the mosque is linked to the Al-Maghrib Institute, which runs a popular educational website. It's run out of Ottawa, but Amiruddin says it's really a Saudi operation. It's something important to note that all of the instructors for the Al-Maghrib Institute are from Saudi Arabia, graduates of the extremist radical Medina University. And this is the university that the Salafi the same brand of Islam which Osama bin Laden follows, this is where their key guys are based. In Ottawa, a coalition of Canadian Muslim groups called today for a summit on how to deal with radicalism. But they also said it's not about religion. Muslims over the country have been condemning violence and terrorism non-stop it is not linked to Islam it is not linked to Muslims but Ahmed Amiruddin says it is about religion a perversion of religion and he says the Muslim community has failed to shut out radical propaganda unless we're able to somehow filter or curb the rise of this type of ideology more and more people are going to become susceptible to it and the end of this ideology is always terrorism mass murder or attempt at mass murder Rudin, he says that he did share his concerns with the authorities, but he adds that he needs much more help to counter the vast financial resources of the Saudi and Wahhabi propaganda machine. That, he says, is where the problem lies.